I'm Chris Stanley, aka Cosplay Chris, and I'm a collector. First thing picked up as a collector, well, it started with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that original run. They had the original figures, then it progressed to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And then from there, when I got into high school, it was McFarlane Toys. This is one of the original McFarlane Toys I bought when I first started collecting. Um, it's just stayed with me ever since because I just love the pose. And then it progressed to quarter scale when I got uh, the quarter scale Freddy Krueger from McFarlane Toys. And then it just snowballed into Sideshow Collectibles, Hot Toys, Prime One, um, right up to me making my own life-size collectibles. It's been three years of work. My representation is from the first film because I believe that is Freddy at his most evil. I love the look, love the open wounds, the, the stripeless uh, sleeves, the glove, everything is just aesthetically pleasing about the character before he turned into a game show host. So the glove was built by a gentleman in the States by the name of Mark Petrie and he spent three days with the original screen used prop. So. The original prop as it stands today, the leather's gone, leather's deteriorated, it's just the metal armature. He took over 2,000 high def photos, measurements, everything. So this is as close as you will get to the original glove that was used in the first two films. The face was sculpted by a gentleman by the name of Rob of Scareware Productions. To me, this is like the perfect representation of Freddy and his personality, just that cheeky, devilish, demonic kind of look. And I've always wanted, not a neutral look, but I wanted Freddy with personality if I was ever to do a life-size one. So that's the one I opted for. So amongst this obsession with Nightmare on Elm Street and getting that Freddy figure, I got to meet Robert Englund for the first time in 2010 at Weekend of Horrors, which was just the best thing ever. The guy even sat down, had a drink with me, went over my portfolio with all my gloves in it because I'd been making gloves since you know, I was 12, so I was 21 when I got to meet him. So I've been making gloves for a while and he gave me some advice and he gave me some really insightful stuff about wearing the gloves and how they were made because you know, he was there for a lot of the process to be fitted for the for the glove and you know he lived with that thing for months for filming each Elm Street film and then he came here in Australia to another horror convention and I had a, a stall there and he got to try on some of my gloves which is just like you know I'm, that's the be all end all when I started glove making was to have Robert wear one of my gloves and he said it was a perfect fit it was just that was just surreal and I'm still on a high from that. I, like that was a really good achievement. What I enjoy most about collecting is seeing a character on screen and just being so, so obsessed with it and having something resonate with that character and having your own little mini version of them, which sounds weird, whether it be, you know, one six scale, quarter scale, half scale, even life size. You can't help but feel chuffed about it. It's, it's weird, it's a really satisfying feeling, especially when, if you haven't made it, if you bought it as is, that they've done the character justice from the clothing, the sculpt, the paintwork, and you can't help but get a smile every time you look at it, you're like, that's mine, this is awesome, this is in my collection. 